Saudi Arabia don't plan to slow down on their astronomical spending on sports, according to the kingdom's crown prince Mohammed bin Salman, who is also the prime minister and also the chairman of the Council Economic and Development Affairs and the Sovereign Public Investment Fund, PIFF. In a recent interview, the crown prince was asked about the growing accusations that Saudi Arabia is sports washing with the aim of boosting their image internationally and its accusations of human rights abuse. If sport washing is going to increase my GDP by 1%, then I will continue doing sport washing. I don't care, I'm aiming for another 1.5%. Call it whatever you want, but we are going to get that 1.5%, said the Crown Prince. The statement came after a very busy summer transfer window in which Saudi Pro League clubs splashed almost $1 billion on 94 players from Europe's major football league, with their most publicized flex of the unlimited wealth being their $776 million one-year offer to Kylian Mbappé, which he turned down. The big chunk of the money spent was by four clubs, Al Hilal, Al Idihad, Al Nasser, and Al Loli, all owned by PIF, which has $777 billion in assets under management, with plans to hit $1 trillion by 2025. With such ambitions, it's clear that more football stars will continue flocking to Saudi Arabia for those lucrative contracts. But with Steven Gerrard managed and Jordan Henderson captain Al Etfak having played in front of a reported 976 fans last weekend, there is a lot of work to be done in the league apart from just spending billions. However, having witnessed a 650% growth in revenue alone in the first month of the 2023-24 season, the Saudi Pro League ambitions might not be far-fetched after all.